Okay, tricky one here. We've got six digits. The first and the third, I have to add up to the fifth. There's really just one outcome for the fifth digit. It's just the sum of the first and third. You can't simultaneously have multiple options there. And then juggling these options here, this is just whatever the sum of the first and third is. And the second and the fourth add up to the sixth. So there's only one option in the sixth place as well. So then how many options for these two different like combinations of first and third and second and fourth? Well, first of all, what can we sum to? We, we're not allowed to use zero. So you know, th these numbers in here, they, these sums, could, it could be anything from two to nine. Because the, these numbers can't be zero. So at the very least, it's like one plus one. Um, you know, the, so, so the, the range for digit one, the lowest it could be is one. And what's the highest it could be? Well, it could be eight because it, it can't be nine because then that, if one of these digits is nine, that doesn't leave any room for the other digit to be anything but zero because you can't add to like a double digit number. You know, these are all, if they take up a single digit, they have to be single digit numbers. So, you know, these first and third could be anything one through eight. Well, you know, the sec what the second digit is depends on the first digit because we can't like add up too high or something like that. If you start with the number one, you say, okay, how many different numbers, pairs could it go with? It can go with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight possibilities. If you started with a two in the first place, you can go with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, but then that's it because two plus, two plus seven is nine. I can't go any higher than that. So that's seven possibilities. Start to see what's going to happen here. This, the three could go with a one, two, three, four, five, or six. And then three plus six is nine, so that's a cap. So that's six there. So we're really just going to get, you know, we're adding eight possibilities here, plus seven possibilities here, plus six. It's the sum of the numbers one to eight. Or this is like the sum of the evenly spaced set, or the consecutive integers one to eight. So what is that real quick? The sum of an evenly spaced set is least plus greatest over two times the number of terms. So it's nine over two times eight. That simplifies there. We get 36 possibilities for, you know, the first and third digits combined. Let's just call that 36 and one. And obviously the same thing is gonna be true for the second and fourth digits. It's like 30 possibilities, 36 possibilities for this sum and 36 possibilities for this sum. So that's 36 times 36 gives us C.